Today we're going to talk about the possible introduction of a new character in Avengers Endgame and we believe that he's from the Quantum Realm. Stick around. What's good? Welcome back to the channel. Fist bump. If you're new to the channel, then do this. Express your zest in knowing more about the MCU and diving through the pages of Stan Lee's great comics by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our uploads. Now we make short videos on Marvel theories, predictions and we also answer your questions from the comment section below. But today's video is from our Marvel theories playlist where we make theories and predictions for the MCU. And today we're going to talk about a character whom you would not be expecting in Avengers Endgame but probably we're going to see him. And so who the hell is this character? And this character is none other than Black Knight. Hold on, we have so many characters in Avengers Endgame. Now who the hell is Black Knight? Where is he from and why are we going to talk about him? Why is he so important? Don't worry, I'm going to talk about that today. Alright, so if you guys remember the post credit scene from Ant-Man and the Wasp, we saw that Ant-Man actually got stuck in the quantum realm, trying to collect some quantum energy, but then Hope's family and Hank's family, they just disappeared and they were not to be seen again. They just faded away like dust and Ant-Man strapped in there. Here's what's up. Now, Black Knight is a new character. Captain Marvel is not the only one who will be introduced in Avengers Endgame as a new character. We'll have some more. Now, this has not been confirmed by the Russo brothers or Kevin Feige, but it comes from some websites that proffer leaks every month or every week. And this is what they have to say. We will see Black Knight in Avengers Endgame and he will come from the Quantum Realm. Now, this makes a lot of sense. If you guys remember the Avengers Endgame trailer, we saw that Ant-Man had escaped from the Quantum Realm. Now, we don't know how he's escaped, but we think that he is a time vortex to escape. But could it be something else? Hold on, let me make a guess. I think Black Knight actually helped him escape from the Quantum Realm, isn't it? Precisely. That's what we wanted to tell you guys in this video. That Black Knight will actually help Ant-Man escape from the Quantum Realm. Now the next question is pretty obvious. What the hell was Black Knight doing in the Quantum Realm? Now we'll get to that right now. So there are two possibilities and the first possibility goes like this. The director of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Peyton Reed, revealed that there are cities and civilizations in the Quantum Realm. And we think that the Black Knight may be from one of these cities in the Quantum Realm and he might have helped Ant-Man escape. However, there's a contrary to this. Because decades ago when Janet Van Dyne was trapped in the Quantum Realm, why didn't Black Knight appear and help her out? Now, we don't know the answer to this theory, but the theory makes a little bit of sense in explaining as to how Ant-Man will escape, so I guess we can give this theory some chance to come out true in Avengers Endgame. Probably Black Knight had never been born at all when she was trapped, so let's see what's going to happen. But let's look at the second theory, and the second theory goes like this. Now, if you guys don't know, Black Knight is actually Dane Whitman, and he has a cursed sword. Now, we're not going to talk much about Black Knight in this video, but if you want to know more about him, leave it in the comment section below and we'll decide to do a video on it. So, Black Knight actually has a cursed sword and we think that this cursed sword is cursed that he will be trapped in the quantum realm for so many years or he'll be trapped until he accomplishes a task. Now, we can't confirm anything here, but since when we researched about Black Knight, we found out that he has a cursed sword Probably, he's cursed to be trapped in the quantum realm. So that was the video, guys. If you enjoy Marvel content that we make, consider subscribing by going for the head. Thor didn't go for the head, at least you guys can. And click on that and you'll be subscribed to the channel and turn on the bell icon and click on either of these videos to continue watching. I still believe in superheroes. Do you?